Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, so uh, today I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, you guys might know from my other videos that uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for the Atari 7800. It was my first video game system, and I was going through stuff in my apartment, and I ran across something really cool. Um, this here is a, um, a high score list for Atari 7800 games that I had when I was a kid. Um, this definitely is from when I was about nine years old. And I got a few other games after this, which I, you know, I'd stopped keeping track after a certain point. But, um, you know, I, I, I'll go ahead and put an annotation so you can see what my actual scores were on the games. I'll put it down in the description below so you can check it out. And the challenge that I'm giving myself is let's see how I do in comparison to the best scores that I got when I was nine years old after having it pains me to say 27 years of video gaming experience after this. But let's see how I do. So the first game we're going to start with here is Pole Position 2. Uh, I'm going to play Fuji because that's the one that, uh, you know, kind of the one I got the best score on when I was a kid. And uh, so here we are, speeding up, shifting to high. So, whoa. <laughs> so this was the, uh, the pack-in game with the 7800. I don't know if they all came with it, at least, you know, in, in the U.S. Um, I think in Europe you had um, asteroids built into the system itself. You didn't even have to put a game cartridge in, which was, was pretty cool. Um, whoa, but this this was the pack-in. So I played this a lot when I first got my system. This was I think this was the only game I had. <laughs> I might. Oh no. Okay, so my qualifying position is three. That doesn't sound so bad. Extended play, gosh, I remember getting that. It was like amazing. It felt so good. Oh shoot. It was like wow. I can keep playing. Oh, that was it. So So I wonder if that's based on like how well you did anyway. Okay, so there it was, forty one thousand. Um, I, I, I matched my third best score on this board, playing this for essentially the first time in, uh, since, since, you know, 27 years ago when I played. I mean, I've played it since then, but, uh, but for the first time now as, as a, an adult. So, uh, there we go. Okay, so the next game that I had, uh, counted my high score on here is Joust. And this was a go-to game for me when I was a kid. I used to play this all the time. So, competing for a 66,000 on here. Oh. See, the, oh, you, you want to get these eggs as soon as possible. If they hit stuff, you get less points for them. So, I definitely did not get as many points as I could have for those. Wow, I used to play this game a lot. It, it was cool because you, uh, you know, it was a two-player game, too, that you could play, uh, Ooh. play together with your friends. So when, when, when people would come over and we'd be like, oh, let's play, oh, damn it. Um, let's play Atari, you know, we'd, we'd play this game together. It was fun. And the cool thing about it is it was, it was kind of uh, cooperative and, and kind of competitive at the same time. So you'd basically play, whoop, um, you know, you were, ah, shoot. You were both trying to take out the the enemy, but then you'd also uh, could take each other out too, which was which was fun. Oops! Get this egg! No! No! There we go! Huh? Shoot! Yes! Found this darn pterodactyl! Whoa! Get the egg! Do it! And this, I'm on the easy part too. This is it's easier before the lava has even become a, an issue. See, now, now we're getting the lava. Whoa! There we go. I mean, this... I think what was interesting about this game is it, it has, a like, a physics system. I mean, I guess, you know, well, some other games did, but I mean, it... I don't know that it was too common at the time. Um, there we go. Oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. No! Get the egg! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no! Shoot! Well, there we go. Wow, what did I have? 11-something. 
wow, I did terrible on that. But I used to play this game all the time, um, and I really, I really enjoyed it. Next up, we're playing Asteroids. This was one of my uh, my other favorites on the system. I mean, I guess really all of these I played the heck out of. Now, this one I got a score of 12,310 that I'm going up against today. It's, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not getting off to a very good start. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. No, 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 no. I wonder if this is actually uh, easier with the, um, shoot, with the traditional controller for this. Because I, I actually did not mean to boost there, I was just trying to move, move back and forth. Wow. Alright, um, let me take the uh, little joystick thingy off of here. There we go. I think that'll make my life easier. So, uh, I've said before in other videos, but Asteroids was... Whoa, 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 whoa. The, uh, the first game that I ever played, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I remember a na neighbor uh, of ours had a Atari 2600, and I remember playing Asteroids uh, on my dad's lap. My, my dad actually was moving the ship around, and I was just hitting the, uh, the shoot button. That was all I must have. It was probably like three. Whoa. Last life. Alright, I can do this. Oh. Oh. I forgot about the, um, shoot, the teleport. I forget, let's see, if you push, you must push down for that. Or maybe the other button. I guess it is the other button. Shrat. Oh, wow. 9200. That was, well, I was going to say that was nowhere near my... 12,000, but it, I mean, it wasn't that far away. It was close to 10,000, and that was my, my third best score. So, definitely, uh, my nine-year-old self kicked my butt in that, but I bet you it wouldn't be that hard for me to come close to that score. Uh, Alright, next uh, game. So, next up is Food Fight, and uh, I guess I'm going to put it on Beginner. Um, I, that's probably what I was playing it on. Uh, I think it just changes what level you start on. I could be wrong, but um, we'll try that. See if I can beat my uh, 520,900 on this. So this is a really cool game on the 7800. It's um, it's an arcade port, and as far as I know, it is the only home version of this game. So it's it's kind of a a specialty of the 7800. I would call it a a must-have and uh, an exclusive uh, on the system. I kind of forget how collision detection works on this, but I think it's one of those ones where, you know, if your toe touches their hat, you're you're screwed. So you really gotta. Oh no! Oh, I'm I'm in trouble. Shoot! Ah! Oh. Wow, that was tough. All right, I'm gonna call that bad luck. Nope. Yeah. Eat my peas. Eat them. That's right. Ice cream time. You know, it's the middle of winter. Oh, that's right, I forgot you get instant replays if you do something cool. <laughs> I wonder what was so awesome about this. Maybe, uh, I don't know if it's like narrow misses or... Yeah, this was such a cool feature of this game. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> that's what I forgot. Like, the, f the fruits have different, um... It's like some are better than others. Like, they have different ranges, different spreads. I always like the bananas for some reason, I don't know why. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I had that one in the bag. Oh, that was my last life, too. <laughs> oh man, game over. So I got the level 16, 126,000. So, not even close. I did not even begin to approach my score from when I was 9 years old. So my 9 years old self just kicked my butt in, uh, in Food Fight. Okay, and uh, here's the final game in my... Um, competing against myself at the age of nine. Um, this is Dig Dug on the 7800, uh, another classic, really great game. Um, the NES does have a good port of the of this game uh, as well, so um, definitely I would say, you know, either, either version is good, but this is the one that I played obsessively when I was young and uh, older. <laughs> oh, ah, shoot, no. 
Oh, okay. Definitely, uh, I'm definitely rusty on this one. Let's see how we go here. There we go. You have to move forward a little bit while you do that, I think. Ah, oh, you little running. You think you're getting away? You probably are getting away. Come on. Ha. Take that. This game really is sadistic, though. It's, uh, if you think about it, I mean, it basically seems like you're just pumping them full of air until they explode. That's a little twisted, but fun. You keep getting flowers up there, too. I don't quite know what that's all about, but no, 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 there's one coming from the side. No, 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 that was luck. That was BS. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. There's one more. Yeah, he's running away. Oh, I wonder how close to the edge he can pop out. I guess that, that far. Oh, no, no, don't turn around. <sighs> Alright. Mmm. Mmm. No, those guys are getting away. Oh, maybe they're not. Maybe it's only the last ones that can get away. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. No! That was it. Alright, game over. Did you guys see what the score was? Because I didn't, so... <laughs> I'll check, and then I'll put a annotation about it or something so um so yeah so you know my nine-year-old self did all right uh i do have to admit you know, i think with a little bit of practice i could beat myself at nine years old uh, without too much trouble in a lot of these games but i mean some of them i think specifically joust and food fight i played those a ton and um th i think those are some decent scores um so i don't know um but i'm gonna play a couple other games here just so you guys can check out some games that I, I really like, some other ones that I didn't write down scores for, but um, that I, I had when I was a kid and I'm really nostalgic for. Next up is Galaga. <laughs> right, now it actually is nice to have those knocked down to blue because uh, uh, it's a little tough to get your ship back. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. All right, this is my only chance. Yeah, this game is just a classic. Like, it really holds up. Uh, I mean, I'm... I'd say I'm having just as much fun with this now as I... as I would have uh, as a kid. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't get anything. <laughs> That's no... Uh, Does some come down here? Oh, shoot. Here, yes, yes. Ha ha! Wow, hey, you get a lot of extra points for that too. All right. Oh, I do have one extra ship. Apparently, I got enough. I don't know points to get another one. So let's see. Uh, let's see if uh, I'm gonna try for the double ships. I think I might as well. Uh, they seem to help me out last time. Oh yeah, they get fast. Wow, they get fast. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy. Challenging stage, all right. Oh yeah, here we get these weird scorpion things. I definitely have gotten this far before because I do remember this stuff. Come on, no, shoot. There we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, woohoo. That was pretty good. I think there's only 40, so I think I got close to all. Man, it sucks, cause I think if you get all those, you get an extra life or something like that. Or maybe it just gives you a lot of points. I don't really know. Oh no, they get f 
<laughs> wow, that one thing took me out. Okay, so I got, what is that, 105,360. Number of hits, 49%. I guess I missed 50% of the time, or over 51. So there we go, Galaga. Not even on my list here, but uh, definitely, uh, yeah, I did pretty good at that. Alrighty, so um, this is uh, another game that I loved when I was a kid, and I played a ton of this. So, um, you know, I guess since I'm trying this over again, I don't have a high score for this, so um, nothing to beat that I know of from when I was younger, but um, I'm going to start this off on Novice because it's been years since I've played this. The system in this game works. It's like you definitely get points for picking stuff up, and you're trying to kill all the aliens, but uh, additionally, I think you can self-destruct. Um, button number two probably throws a grenade. Okay, see, now I'm getting warped out. So I think that means I cleared all the enemies on the board. It does. Okay, so that's how that works. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what the benefit is of self-destructing. Um, points per kill. Points awarded. Cool. Um, this game was great. I, I just... I, I I think I liked that it was alien themed. I don't know that I saw, like, a I definitely didn't see Alien or Aliens when I was nine years old. I'll tell you that. Yeah, wow. I, this game. I mean, it really. Th this may have cemented my love of survival horror pretty pretty early. This game. It really has a survival horror feeling to it. Um, you know, it's just the creepiness, the impending doom, these things all. Whoa, kind of. Uh, converging on you. Um, the fact that they can they can change and become more dangerous if you don't uh, take care of them quickly. Um, there's really a sense of uh, urgency, I think. And I think the pacing too, just the fact that it's kind of slow and deliberate. You know, it reminds me of Resident Evil and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm on board Alpha. And I guess I was on Beta before. So this one might have a now what comes next? Gamma? I might, might have another board on it. Ugh. <laughs> I was just playing Persona 4 Golden, and they were, they were asking about where the word alphabet came from. And uh, I answered, oop, ah, come on, that it was um, from Alpha Beta, which I guess is, is right. Uh, the first two kind of Greek letters. Um, I remember this thing was sort of cool, but I don't know if it's better than that zapper gun. Um, ha ha. Whoa, no. Glad the thing didn't grab me. Come on. You know, this thing's cool because it takes things out in one hit. It's pretty strong. I don't think... It might be a little uh, fragile. But it seems pretty good, actually. The weird gas gun. Uh, uh. Suck gas. <laughs> Suck my gas, evildoer. I think that was a Darkwing Duck line. I don't think I have to self-destruct it. just need to clear out all the enemies. Oops. Oh, well, that's too late. I was trying to jump. <laughs> now it's going to blow up. Well, that's kind of a downer. But, you know, at least I'll finish the board, I guess. There it is. Yeah. You know, this is... <laughs> it's very Resident Evil-ish, even with the, the doors. You know, you kind of... It's all about going through doors slowly, and whoa. Ah, drat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this thing to death. Um, but there's even things about, you know, do you wanna enter this? Oh, wow, there's another one. Shoot. Oh, man. Suck one of those. Yeah. There we go. Ah. No, I'm dead. Oh. That was it. So, uh, 118,275. Um, I guess maybe that's good. I don't know. Um, I'm sure I got as high as that when I was a kid. Uh, but definitely a fun game. Really nostalgic for me. I played the living heck out of this game when I was a kid. And, um, you know, I just love my 7800. <laughs> Even now, it's really fun to go back and uh, check out these games. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, watching me get whatever by these aliens here um i hope that you will join me again next time uh, normally i do more like japanese video game related videos i don't always do retro stuff it's a lot of new stuff um 
you know, just a lot of different things. So hope hope that you'll join me again, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.